Saturn brand has been on decline for a number of years now. And why? Well, have you seen an Ion lately? The quality just hasn't been there at all, and surely the styling has been more than a bit off. Friendly salespeople and ice cream socials won't sell the cars by themselves these days. No, Saturn needs some real excitement. We're not talking about slapping red line badges on a view sport utility and pretending that it's actually fun to drive. No, Saturn needs something better. We're thinking of something topless. Something with two seats. The first Saturn ever that enthusiasts will actually salivate over and really want to drive. This car is the Saturn Sky. If you've seen a Pontiac Solstice driving around town, the Sky might look pretty familiar to you. Both of the cars use the same GM Kappa platform and have the same overall shape. The difference, the Sky here uses nice sharp crease edges while the Pontiac uses a more curvy retro styling. I think the sky looks a lot like a miniature Corvette, which is cool. And you can even pop the hood, it goes forward just like a Corvette, show off your engine to your buddies. The difference, the Corvette convertible costs about 50 grand, while this Saturn is only about $23,000. It's three grand more than a Solstice, but you get a lot more standard features, which in the end would make a Solstice cost just about the same. It looks cool, generates a lot of buzz, Sitting outside of your favorite coffee shop, people will stop and stare. It's a really awesome little car. As beautiful as the Saturn Sky is, it doesn't come without a couple drawbacks. The biggest being the top and the trunk. Put up the top, you have to first press the trunk button, open it up. You can see in here there's absolutely no trunk space with the top down. We've got a backpack back there and it hardly fits. So put the top up, pop the trunk, you gotta lift the top into place. Then you have to get inside the car here. Push this forward, snap it shut, get back out of the car, shut the door, shut the trunk, then click these little buttresses into place, which are pretty springy and don't really like to go into place. You see it can easily click back out. It takes quite a while, the Mazda Miata, you just one click and toss it back and you're all set. Saturn Sky's 2.4 liter Ecotec engine puts out 177 horsepower, bettering the Mazda MX-5 by seven ponies. But also the MX-5 weighs about 2,500 pounds while this is near 3,000. So it's got a bit of a weight disadvantage, and it feels a bit slower than the Mazda, and a bit heavier too. But all that weight is good for something, because this chassis is amazing. It's just so much better than the Mazda. It really feels stiff, and could probably handle 100 more horsepower if you wanted it to. Which is good, because the Sky Redline coming out later this year will have 260 horsepower, a boost of just about 80. The car uses a turbocharger and a smaller displacement four-cylinder. Sky's interior isn't perfect, but it's a huge improvement over a lot of GM stuff from the past. It's still got the hard plastics here, but the center stack and the black piano lacquer is pretty cool. A lot of the materials aren't bad. The steering wheel is very nice with these controls here for the volume, the cruise control. A couple drawbacks though, there's hardly any space for storage. We've got a little compartment back here and two cup holders, but besides that, there's nothing in the doors, there's nothing on the center console here. It's really too bad, you just have no place to put phones or iPods, hardly any place to put drinks. The second drawback is the placement of these buttons on the door here. You have to almost have Tyrannosaurus Rex arms to reach the adjustments for the mirrors and the windows. It's too bad. Besides that, it's a nice place to live for a while. The seats are comfortable. Pretty good looking. Really makes for an all-around great package for the Saturn Sky. We really like it. It looks cool. It's fun to drive. Can't wait for the red line, which is just going to be a blast. Really fast. Really can't believe this car is a Saturn. It's amazing. It's such a far step forward from the Ion, from the View the L-series that just went out. We can't wait to drive the Aura and the Outlook. 
couple other new products coming from Saturn. I just really think it's great. Driving a Saturn, it's fantastic.